Paul DeMaio, often known as Quadzilla, was one of the most iconic bodybuilders in the history of the sport, famous for his massive quadriceps and his overall well-developed physique. Though his life and career were relatively short compared to some of his peers, DeMaio left a significant legacy in the world of bodybuilding. His story is one of intense dedication, early promise, and ultimately, tragedy. In this biography, we will explore his early life, rise to fame, bodybuilding career, personal struggles, and legacy. Paul DeMaio was born on September 12, 1967, in Malden, Massachusetts, a suburb of Boston. From an early age, DeMaio displayed an interest in physical activity, but it was not until his teenage years that he began to seriously pursue bodybuilding. Growing up in a blue-collar family, he developed a strong work ethic early on, and this would serve him well in the demanding world of competitive bodybuilding. DeMaio started lifting weights as a teenager, and his natural genetics quickly became apparent. By the time he was 16, he was already impressing his peers and mentors with his strength and ability to build muscle quickly. This early success fueled his passion for the sport, and he decided to pursue bodybuilding more seriously. Paul DeMaio's entry into competitive bodybuilding came in the mid-1980s, a period when the sport was growing in popularity thanks to figures like Arnold Schwarzenegger and Lee Haney. DeMaio's exceptional quadriceps development earned him the nickname Quadzilla, a moniker that would stick with him throughout his career. His first major competition was in 1988 when he competed in the NPC Massachusetts State Championships. He quickly made a name for himself by winning the overall title. His victory in his home state gave him confidence and positioned him as one of the rising stars in bodybuilding. From there, DeMaio began competing in national-level competitions, where he faced off against some of the best amateurs in the country. DeMaio's real breakthrough came in the early 1990s when he started competing in the National Physique Committee NPC, circuit. His combination of muscle mass, Symmetry and conditioning made him a standout in every competition he entered. In 1991, he made an impression at the NPC Junior Nationals, where he took first place. This victory catapulted him into the national spotlight. However, it was his performance in the 1994 NPC Nationals that solidified his place among the elite bodybuilders of the time. The NPC Nationals is one of the most prestigious amateur competitions in the United States, and winning the overall title is a major step toward turning professional. DeMaio not only won his weight class, but he also took home the overall title, earning his IFBB, International Federation of Bodybuilding and Fitness, professional card in the process. After earning his IFBB Pro card, DeMaio entered the world of professional bodybuilding with high expectations. He made his pro debut at the 1995 Mr. Olympia competition, the most prestigious event in bodybuilding. Competing against the likes of Dorian Yates, Kevin Lavrone, and Sean Ray, DeMaio faced stiff competition. Although he did not place in the top ranks at the Olympia, his participation alone was a significant achievement. However, DeMaio's professional career did not meet the lofty expectations that many had for him. Despite his incredible physique, particularly his leg development, he struggled to achieve the kind of conditioning necessary to win at the highest level. His quadriceps, though legendary, often overshadowed the rest of his physique, and he found it difficult to balance his proportions to meet the rigorous standards of IFBB judges. In addition to the challenges he faced on stage, DeMaio also struggled with injuries, which hampered his ability to train consistently. These injuries, combined with personal issues, made it difficult for him to maintain the level of dedication required to succeed at the professional level. By the late 1990s, DeMaio's competitive career was in decline. While DeMaio's bodybuilding career was marked by moments of brilliance, his personal life was far more tumultuous. Like many bodybuilders of his era, DeMaio faced significant pressure to use performance-enhancing drugs to compete at the highest level. While the use of anabolic steroids and other substances was widespread in bodybuilding, it took a toll on DeMaio's health and well-being. In addition to the physical challenges, DeMaio also struggled with addiction. In interviews later in his life, he admitted that he had battled substance abuse issues, including a dependence on painkillers. 
These struggles not only affected his bodybuilding career, but also had a profound impact on his personal relationships and quality of life. De Mayo's battles with addiction became more pronounced as his competitive career waned. His inability to compete at the highest level, combined with his personal struggles, led to a downward spiral. By the early 2000s, De Mayo was largely out of the bodybuilding spotlight, and his life had taken a tragic turn. Paul De Mayo's life came to a tragic end on June 2, 2005, when he died from a heroin overdose at the age of 37. His death was a shock to the bodybuilding community, which had watched his rise to fame and witnessed his subsequent struggles. De Mayo's story was a cautionary tale about the pressures and dangers that can come with competitive bodybuilding, particularly the use of drugs and the toll it takes on mental health. In the wake of his death, many in the bodybuilding world paid tribute to De Mayo's incredible talent and potential. While his career was short-lived, his impact on the sport was undeniable. Paul De Mayo's professional bodybuilding career began to take shape in the mid-1980s. He made his competitive debut in local bodybuilding shows in Massachusetts, quickly earning a reputation as a fierce competitor with extraordinary potential. His early contests were marked by an impressive showing of muscle mass, symmetry, and conditioning, attributes that would define his career in the years to come. De Mayo's breakthrough came when he won the 1988 NPC Junior Nationals. His victory at this competition placed him firmly on the radar of bodybuilding fans and industry insiders alike. It was during this time that De Mayo earned his nickname, Quadzilla, due to his enormous quadriceps, which became one of the most recognizable and iconic features of his physique. His quadriceps development in particular was often compared to that of Tom Platz, one of the most famous leg developers in bodybuilding history. In the early 1990s, De Mayo continued to compete in the NPC National Physique Committee, which is one of the largest amateur bodybuilding organizations in the United States. After several high placings in regional and national competitions, De Mayo achieved a major milestone in 1994 when he won the NPC Nationals. This victory earned him his IFBB, International Federation of Bodybuilding and Fitness, professional card, allowing him to compete in the prestigious IFBB Pro League alongside the sport's biggest names. After earning his IFBB Pro card, Paul De Mayo made his professional debut at the 1995 Mr. Olympia competition, the most prestigious bodybuilding event in the world. The Mr. Olympia contest, created by Joe Weider, has crowned legends like Arnold Schwarzenegger, Ronnie Coleman, and Lee Haney. De Mayo's debut was highly anticipated due to his reputation for massive legs and overall size. Unfortunately, De Mayo's performance at the 1995 Mr. Olympia did not live up to the high expectations. He placed 12th in the competition, a disappointing result for someone considered a rising star in the sport. Despite his lower-than-expected placing, De Mayo's physique remained widely admired, particularly his quadriceps development. However, his performance at Mr. Olympia marked the beginning of challenges that would hinder his professional career. After the 1995 Olympia, De Mayo competed in a few more professional shows but never managed to capture the same success he had enjoyed as an amateur. His last major competition was the 1995 IFBB Grand Prix Spain, where he placed 10th. Following this contest, De Mayo decided to step away from professional bodybuilding competitions. Despite his relatively short professional career, De Mayo left a lasting impact on the sport. He was featured in numerous bodybuilding magazines, including Flex and Muscle and Fitness, where his training routines and nutritional strategies were highlighted.